How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we are back working on Project No Name. I haven't really given her a name yet. I'm not sure what I really want to call her. You guys gave me a lot of great suggestions but I haven't decided which one I'm going to go with. But yes, today I am super excited. I might not seem excited, I'm just a little tired. But I am super excited because we are getting the new wheel set up today from ESR and you guys I think are going to be blown away. We are going to be doing that and a couple other things in order to get the car ready for some Mexico runs. Throwing a lot of horsepower at a car is a good way to win races, but there's no point in throwing a lot of horsepower at the car if you can't use it. Traction, cooling, being able to monitor everything, these are all super important things when you're racing. And so today we're going to knock out a couple of those and then we'll have to save one for another video. But today we're gonna to be doing the traction side of things. Obviously, we're gonna be getting rid of these. These are the ESR RF1s, I believe. We have Mickey Thompson ET Street Rs on here, 305, 45, 18. Nice, meaty tire. It handled really good until I went and threw more power at it. I mean, it's a big boy tire. They're not even like smoked yet. Like they still have life left, but I just don't hook. So I gotta get rid of them. So we're gonna be getting some new wheels, getting them installed, and then I'm gonna come back here and toss them on. Um, um, they are a 15 inch wheel so i have to do a sway bar relocation kit i haven't installed it yet i'm not going to do that on camera it's really boring i just gotta go ahead and grind off some shit, move the sway bar and we'll be good i'm gonna miss this wheel setup i mean you can't tell me that that's not a really aggressive look right there i mean my fitment my fitment is pretty damn good I and mean, we got a little bit of camera up front got a little, little bit of cam cam up front and then in the rear just Oh, perfectly like flush a little bit too perfect if you ask me because uh it rubs quite a bit so hopefully the new wheels won't because that's gotta go anyways probably the last shot we're gonna get with these wheels on let me know rate the old wheel setup in the comments one out of ten and then go ahead and rate the new wheel setup we'll have to wait to see how those look though i figured i'll show you a quick before and after of what i'm doing exactly so i got to take off this bracket right here pretty much put on one that they supply which moves it up just a few more inches that way I can chop this off and then you can fit a 15 inch wheel and it won't hit that so really simple it'll just take a couple hours if that so let me get to work okay if we crawl underneath the car and look at the sway bar you can see that it has been successfully relocated now there are some spots where this aftermarket sway bar comes really close. I think it's touching a little bit right there. If not, it's got like, you know, a pubic hair of distance in between. It's really close there, if not touching. And right here, I think it is touching 100%. I grind it away as much as I could, but with this fucking lower control arm right here, it's a little bit hard. So hopefully I'm okay. I'm just gonna send it and see what happens. Focus camera, there we go. I'm just gonna send it and see what happens. Um, everything else is all back together. Now I just need to go ahead, damn, I'm really white. Can we fix that camera? Jesus, okay, I don't think so. Now I just gotta go ahead and head to the bank. And then, oh God, I got shavings in my eye too. This isn't the greatest time to record. I gotta get this done though. I gotta head to the bank, and then we're gonna head to ESR, pick up the new wheels, then the tire shop, then come back and install them and have some fun. Let's go. All right, guys, so I've made the pickup. We're at the tire shop right now. I can't wait. I need to show you guys what ESR and I have been cooking up, and I think you guys are going to be excited. Let me just give you guys a glimpse of them. We're going to get the tires installed to go install them on the Mustang. I'm inside because we're at a tire shop. It's loud as fuck. Let me show you guys. I'm really excited. So these bad boys right here are one of one ESR drag wheels. Beadlock drag wheels. They are 15 inch by 10. And this is the only one of its kind so far. ESR wants to get into the drag racing scene. And what a better way to do it than to have me be their guinea pig and test out these wheels on my Mustang. Like I said, one of one. This is a three-piece beadlock. And it looks immaculate, okay? ESR and I designed this. I wanted a classic five-spoke. I just told them kind of what I was looking for. And they, they rendered this shit up, and it looks beautiful. The ring, the detail in it is absolutely just oh it's just so sexy to look at so we have a gloss black satin black polished look oh, i just i can't wait to toss these on the car but drew what are you gonna do for the fronts well why not get a custom three-piece to match it so this is an 18 by 6 so we're running a little bit of a skinny up front 18 by 6 up front and oh they're just gonna look so sexy together look at that nice satin black look again with a gloss black lip i cannot wait to install these two 
I'm just, I'm so fucking hard right now. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna let the tire shop take over and install these. I will get back to you when I get them back. Let me just also quickly show you guys that they literally weigh like nothing. And I mean nothing, like easily nothing. Lightest wheel I think I've ever felt. Wheels acquired, let's go install these bad motherfuckers. All right, back at my parents' house now. I am exhausted, it's been a long day, but we're gonna go ahead and unload the wheels. I wanna get a good look at them in the light, take a look at how they are, show you guys how they are, and then we'll toss them on the Mustang and see how they fit. Okay, pulled out of the car and the rear wheel just looks fucking mean, like, oh my god, ESR knocked it out of the park with this wheel, that thing is badass. Fully custom, one of one ESR performance drag radial, and this, oh, it's so sick. It, look at the, oh, it's so pretty, that is, that is beautiful right there. The fronts, like I said before, made to match, they're skinnies, but they're not that skinny, so I still wanted plenty of tread, that way in case she got hairy, I can still, you know, control the boat that we call the Mustang. Uh, it's a 235, my old setup is a 255, so it's a little skinnier, it's not much skinnier. Um, he had, that he thought would fit a eight inch, which is like a 205, but it was a 205 17, this is an 18, so wouldn't have fit. Anyways, I'm gonna toss on this rear right here, we get to see how it fits, and uh, if we need spacers or not. I hope we don't, but we're gonna find out. There's like nothing to grab it by, it's a little awkward. The fuck are you supposed to get this on? Holy shit, that thing is lining up pretty fucking nice. A lot better than before. I mean, before it was right on the edge. I think they, they just, again, knocked it out of the park. I told them my car is a little bit wider than factory and I think they just winged it and it's just perfect, it looks like. We're gonna go ahead and lower down the car after I get the other side on and we'll see. Okay guys, well, I have some sad news. The wheels don't fit. They do, but they don't. So it looks like the offset is fine for the most part. Like, I don't think we're gonna have really any rubbing issues. We shouldn't, we'll see. But the issue is uh, they don't clear the brake caliper. So I know what you're thinking, Drew, put a spacer in there. Well, I already did and they still don't clear and I don't have nearly enough threads to get them on. So what I'm gonna have to do is order up some extended threads or some extended bolt, I should say and install them. It's not a huge deal, I just gotta do that, then I can run the correct size spacer to clear the brake caliper, then we're good to go. But I'm gonna have to order that, it's gonna take a couple days for it to ship, get it here, install it. We'll be good to go within the next couple days, but still a little disappointing, but it's not ESR's fault. Obviously this is their prototype wheel, and this is how they received the barrels themselves. And I'll show you exactly what's hitting. So if we take off the wheel and look inside the barrel, there's this little concave right here, it's like a 45, and you can see exactly where it's touching. Again, not ESR's fault, it's a fucking uh, new wheel that they're coming out with, and it's just, you know, maybe this wheel itself, this barrel, wasn't designed for this car, so I don't really wanna start chopping at my caliper. I'm gonna call my buddy and see what he thinks, but I think my safest bet is gonna be longer studs and a little bit of a thicker spacer, and then we'll be good to go. Um, we can go ahead and test the fronts because if I have to order extended sets for those two, might as well find out right now. So let me go ahead and uh, reverse the car, toss on the fronts, and see how they look. Sheesh! Look at that right there. Drew Peacock wearing reps who? Drew Peacock wearing reps who? Three-piece wheels? Who? I never thought I'd own a set of three-piece wheels. And look at them. Wow, those things look real nice. No spacer needed for those. They clear, and they're nice and like almost tucked it's like perfectly flush and they just oh they look so perfect all right guys so after another day working on the car i got them to fit with a little bit of a spacer let me show you guys how they look
Yeah, guys, so check it out. From what you saw, I mean, they look pretty fucking nice. Authentic three-piece. I love how ESR went and put the little marker on each bolt, making sure that we can t t quickly tell if they're still tight. And it just gives it that little extra detail, and it looks real nice. These fronts are absolutely sick, but I didn't buy this wheel setup for the fronts. I bought them for the rears, and that is one meaty tire. This thing is so sweet like it looks so much better than i anticipated and i am just super happy i don't think i'm gonna have any more rubbing issues i just got done driving it i can't do any pulls because i'm getting extended studs some arp studs because we barely have enough thread to where i'm actually comfortable driving on it and i do not want to push it and lose a wheel so for now that's how it's gonna sit i already ordered the studs they'll be here sometime next week i'll just toss them on i won't make a video on that but i'll toss them on get some nice titanium hardware for it and it's gonna look bitch and check out my instagram if you guys want to see the update on that but i am super happy with how the car looks right now i always like that drag pack look of like the 15 inches but i wanted to do mine a little bit differently and esr was willing to work with me and i think like i said uh, just <laughs> i'm speechless with how good this looks like you can't tell me that's not a sexy wheel setup right there that is oh that is so perfect so yeah i could go drive on them right now but i can't do any pulls or i'm not comfortable doing any pulls i can't guarantee that anything bad will happen but i'd rather play it safe than sorry so i'm not going to go out and go do some pulls right now uh, i still have to break in the tires too i have to get that initial like layer off of it one quick pull would probably just shear it right off which would be great but you know i'll break them in i'll do it the right way and then next week i will get the extended studs on maybe do the cooling and we'll be ready for mexico so guys in the comments right now rate this wheel setup what do you think is this for sure better than the last wheel setup I think so. I think, you know, this is just one of the sexiest wheel setups I think I have ever seen, especially on this generation Mustang. This is just absolutely killer. I am so in love with those ESR wheels, man. One of a kind right there. One of a kind. Still have a couple minor things to do on the car until she's ready for Mexico, like I already mentioned, but so far I am just, I'm speechless with how great this car is coming along. And quickly, after that long year of it being down, right now we're just banging out stuff real quick. It's like a Bang Bros video. It's going by really fast. So anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, let me know down in the comments. Again, let me know what you think of the wheel setup. I think that shit looks bitchin'. But let me know what your opinion, okay? We're all allowed to have our own opinion. You might not like it. That's okay. Let me know down in the comments. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.